day mga Kabayan Techers! This is your The Kabayan Tech and today we're going to set up a new computer and restore from a time machine backup. So let's begin! So assuming that we have a brand new computer here, I this one was formatted from the previous video that we have. So setting it up uh, as if it was a, it's a brand new computer for you, uh, we just have to follow the on-screen instructions. On the hello screen, click on the button that goes pointed to the right. It will ask you to select your country or region. And then accessibility, if you don't want to set up anything on accessibility, click on not now. And then this will ask you for your Wi-Fi. I'm going to just skip connecting to Wi-Fi and just click on continue. It will tell me that you don't want to set up your Wi-Fi. Just click on continue. Da data privacy will show up. It means that there's no Apple ID registered yet for this device. We click on continue. And this is the part if you want to do a restore from your time machine backup. So this is one way of restoring it if you have a brand new computer. From a Mac, time machine backup, or a startup disk. Also, you could do... A, uh, from a PC. Uh, it's not 100% that everything will be transferred because it's like similar to having two different languages talking at the same time. So I have the backup here and we're going to connect it uh, to this computer. The one that I have on the drive is a time machine backup. We're going to select the first one and then we're going to click on continue. <clears throat> it's going to uh, detect all the time machine backup that are uh, available. Uh, this one is just a NAS that I have connected to my network. And this is the one that's directly connected to my computer. But here, since we have a drive, so we're going to use this one. And we're going to click on continue. It will show you uh, what's the latest. If there are multiple entries when it comes to time machine backup, it will show it here. It depends on which one you want it to choose. So I'm going to choose this one. So it's going to prepare the source and, and see uh, what kind of data were saved. So you might notice here that we have the test account that we have previously and all the application and other files. Uh, you could also drill down on which one you wanted if you are low on space and you bought a new one that is lower space than what you have previously you could uncheck those but since we're, we don't have a lot of data that we saved so we're going to use everything on the time machine and we're going to click on continue and then next this is the admin account if there are um, two or more admin or standard account it will show up here usually the admin account you could uh, replace the password or set the password but for the standard account it would be listed here below and it will give you a temporary password take a screenshot on that one or write it down in a piece of paper and then you could change those passwords when you are on the home screen so let me just set this password i'm going to just set a standard password of one two three four and set this password so we're going to click on continue and it's going to do the data transfer. If you have a large data that you're going to transfer, this will take a while. Here, since this is just a time machine backup, uh, didn't have too many files, so that's the reason why it says estimated would be five minutes. So it's almost done. Okay, and this will restart automatically. If you want to restart it by your own, then click on restart now. And then the computer will just restart by itself uh, and we're going to wait for it to boot up. So the wait time for this uh, restart will vary of how much data you have. So on this screen, it's going to do transferring or completing migration. Now it's complete. Then it's going to go to the home screen for the login and then let me just put in the password. Uh, at this stage, you could actually take out your external drive and disconnect it. If you do have an Apple ID that you wanted to use, put it now. If not, you could do setup later. 
and we're going to keep on skip. And then since my computer has Touch ID, it's going to ask me to set it up. I'm going to set it up later. For those who are just watching and not yet subscribed, kindly click the subscribe button and then the bell button. And thank you very much and have a good day.